Alabama's Gulf Shores offer visitors a rousing range of things to do both indoors and out. Work on your tan at the beautiful beaches, have a picnic with your family at a scenic park, explore wildlife preserves. Regardless of how you want to spend your vacation, Gulf Shores has you covered. So join Vucation as we give you the rundown of the best things to do in Gulf Shores, Alabama. Hit up the beach. There's no reason not to spend a day or so at the beach when visiting Alabama's Gulf Coast. The sands are bright as ivory, while the water is a brilliant shade of emerald blue. Take a stroll along the shore or stop to build a sandcastle. As you walk along the beach, you'll see the colorful sails of windsurfers zooming by. Kick back and relax on the beach to listen to the gentle, lulling sound of the waves. If you're looking for a wild place to spend spring break, look somewhere else. Back in the day, droves of vacationing college kids came here to throw massive booze-fueled parties. Eventually, Eventually, the locals got tired and the local government decided to put up no alcohol signs. Since the police immediately began enforcing this rule, the number of drunken revelers quickly dropped and the beaches have since been restored to their family-friendly status. The no alcohol policy is only in effect for a few weeks in the spring, but it's worth noting that the beaches no tents and canopies policy is in effect year long. So if you're trying to shield yourself from the sun, you'll need an umbrella instead. Gulf Shores offers visitors miles of public beach access to enjoy take a hike at the Orange Beach Waterfront Park. Overlooking Wolf Bay, this serene, family-friendly park offers several paved walking paths, a lighted children's park, a picnic area complete with grills, and a covered pavilion. We highly recommend visiting the park's 400-foot pier to catch a sunset. Go camping at Gulf State Park. The outpost campsites at Gulf State Park offer guest campsites featuring cots and running water. Just bring your most comfortable sleeping bag or comforter and you should be all set. Each campsite is also equipped with a canvas tent, bug net, and grill. Near your campsite, you'll find myriad hiking trails in addition to Gulf State Park Pier, miles of public beaches, countless water activities, and loads of other outdoor activities in and around town. Take a tour of an oyster farm. If you've ever enjoyed slurping down these fresh seafood delicacies, then you should probably learn where they come from. A company called White Boots Charters offers visitors a tour of the Shell Bank Selects Oyster Farm. During your tour, you'll ride aboard a flat-bottom boat while learning about how these shelled sea creatures are raised. After taking your tour, you're more than likely to have worked up quite an appetite. While unfortunately the tour doesn't allow you to chow down on the oysters you come across, we do have recommendations on where to eat in the Gulf Shores, so keep watching. Grab a bite to eat. Our first dining recommendation is Woodside Restaurant, which can be found in Gulf State Park. It's the perfect stop to make before or after jumping on the free bikes that can be found outside the restaurant and around the park. Woodside is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and you can either choose to sit inside or out on the large screened-in porch. There's also an entirely outdoors section that features games and a stage for live musical performances. For seafood lovers, we highly recommend visiting DeSoto's Seafood Kitchen. A few of their standout dishes include the Red Royal Shrimp, triggerfish, and oysters. Another standout seafood joint is Sea and Suds. It started in 1975 and since then has become a local institution. Not only is it a great spot to catch a sunset, since it's literally built right out into the water, but they also offer some genuinely delicious seafood-centric cuisine. And last but not least, we've got to give a shout out to Doc's Seafood Shack, which has been serving up the best fried seafood in town since 1984. Take scuba diving lessons. If you've ever dreamed of learning how to swim with the fishes, a little help from an oxygen tank and a pair of flippers, then the good folks over at Down Under Dive Shop will make that dream a reality with the help of their open water scuba certification program. There's no need to book a flight to the Bahamas or Hawaii to fulfill all your scuba diving dreams. You can learn how to dive while taking a family vacation to Alabama's Gulf Shores. Before reserving, you should know you'll need to complete the online portion of training back at home. Once you've made your way out to the coast, that's when you can take your pool and open water diving sessions with down under friendly and knowledgeable divers. Visit the Orange Beach Arts Center. The Orange Beach Arts Center features a place called The Hot Shop, which prides itself on being the only public access glass blowing studio in Alabama. Be on the lookout for live glass blowing signs to get a rare peek into the life and creations of a working glass artist. Make sure you stop at the Clay Gallery where you can make and paint pottery pieces. Hugh Branion Backcountry Trail Dating back to the days of Alabama's earliest explorers, settlers, and native peoples, this trail, which is open during daylight hours, offers hikers more than 15 miles of paved trails. They're lined with informative signs that highlight places of interest. While exploring the trails, you'll come upon sand dunes, swamps, marshes, a beautiful butterfly garden, and if you're lucky, you'll stumble upon the legendary Catman, who locals claims lurks in the woodlands. Maps of the trails are available on the park's website. 
the Orange Beach Indian and Sea Museum. Located inside a century-old schoolhouse, the Orange Beach Indian and Sea Museum has an impressive collection of hundreds of historical artifacts, relics, and memorabilia that date back to the region's indigenous and nautical roots. From old pieces of fishing and farming equipment to centuries-old arrowheads to old photographs that document local families, this is one museum that'll leave you with a newfound appreciation for the area you're visiting. The Gulf Shores Museum from learning about the daredevil exploits of hurricane hunters to all about how local shrimpers help put the Gulf Shores on the map, this museum offers guests an intimate look into the early days of Alabama's Gulf Coast. There are several permanent and seasonally rotating exhibits to see, including the fantastic Portrait of a Fishing Village, From Sea to Shining Sea, and Pilot Town displays. After exploring the museum, be sure to take a stroll around the museum's beautifully manicured garden. Bon Secours National Wildlife Refuge Largely considered to be one of Alabama's most impressive natural wonders, this 7,000-acre wildlife sanctuary can be found along the Fort Morgan Peninsula. There are miles of hiking trails to tackle, as well as a few refuge beaches to appreciate. Every trail offers a unique adventure, and regardless of what season you visit, you'll always see something new. There are short, beginners-level trails to explore, as well as longer, more challenging hikes. For more info, check out the Wildlife Refuge's website for a full rundown of activities and events. The National Naval Aviation Museum Located in the nearby town of Pensacola, Florida, which is just a short drive east, this 300,000-square-foot museum features more than 150 historic aircraft, as well as thousands of artifacts and intriguing exhibits that focus on the history of aviation during the First and Second World Wars, as well as later battles like the Vietnam and Korean Wars. Be sure to check out the museum's website to see when the world-famous Blue Angels flight team is scheduled to perform one of their amazing air shows. The Foley Model Railroad Museum Located in the town of Foley, this unique museum takes guests back to the height of the railroad era. The museum is situated inside an old railroad depot and features more than a quarter mile of model railroad track with three different double-track routes. You'll be blown away by the artistry and attention to detail that went into this fun and educational exhibit. Pet a Kangaroo at the Gulf Coast Zoo Alabama's Gulf Coast Zoo is home to more than 500 species of exotic animals, including lemurs, sloths, kangaroos, pelicans, and more. Many of the creatures on display are available for meet-and-greets. Take the zoo's friendly, pint-sized kangaroo Frodo, for example. While giving him a few respectful head pets, you might feel tempted to take him home with you. Unfortunately, unless they're a service animal, you can't take marsupials on planes. You can also meet creatures like tamanduas, reptiles, elephants, and dozens of species of marine life. The zoo packs a ton of family-friendly activities all rolled up into one affordable package. If you're traveling with kids, a visit here is a no-brainer. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to Alabama's Gulf Shores? If so, did we miss any of your favorites? And if not, do you think you'll ever go? Let us know in the comments section below.